Well, just it was one of those games. There was a lot of pucks around the net, and just found their way. And, you know, it was just like the first one. They, you know, they dumped it in. We missed it. Uh, they threw it right back in the net, and, and Pecks couldn't find it. And just a lot of, of those type of roles tonight. Just around the crease, uh, wrap rounds, bouncing pucks, trying to get a handle on it. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It was just it was just a little bit strange, unnerving a little bit. The decision to pull Pekka then is, is much Yeah, just, just to me it was it just wasn't Pex's night. And uh, we weren't helping him a lot because you've got to help him in the crease area, you gotta you gotta clear pucks, you gotta you gotta have your man your man a little firmer than we did. And I just you know, I usually four is my limit with, with Pex usually and and uh, I thought, you know, I said we still have lots of game and uh, to go and I thought I'd uh, give him one more. Seemed like their response was pretty good for every goal you guys scored. Yeah, I mean, they got the lead, and then we respond, and they respond. And you, you know, you talk about you know putting back-to-back -back shifts, maintaining momentum, uh, getting them unnerved a little bit. We didn't do a good enough job. We didn't do a good enough job in that area. I mean, you know, we score to get it tied up, and and uh, you know, then I mean, finish announcing our goal, and then they score. I mean, that. To me, that's just not acceptable. That shift right after a goal is, is huge, and you know they capitalized. I thought they, they won a lot, more, a few more of those puck battles, uh, especially early. I thought we were we just you know we didn't have a great emotion to come out, um, and they were they're, I, I knew that they were playing good hockey. They're playing, to, you know, they're they're trying to win their division, or trying to make it make the playoffs. They're sort of in that in that in that mode, and, and, and we weren't desperate enough to. To be a good hockey team, that's uh, like the the Kings. Do you have to sort of guard against that? That maybe most teams are playing from here on out are going to be more desperate. Well, than all, yeah, all the teams that we you know we're playing, you know, we're Colorado's in the same boat, fighting with these guys. Uh, so you're going to get a very, um, a very focused hockey club coming in here. So they said the guys, we got to get our game going forward here, and um, and and then win some hockey games. We got we. We've got two more games at home, then we start going on the road. And we're playing a lot of these same teams that are very desperate, so uh, we can stay above the, the mix or we can become part of the mix. Cornquist, I think, got his 20th. It, with him, it's just, it just seems like it's been consistency the last few years. He's, he seemed to have had it in terms of a goal scoring perspective. Well, you know, uh, the thing that, that Patrick does is he's not afraid to go in those hard areas, and that's where he scores goals these days. Um, you know, and uh, that's why he gets them, you know, consistently in that 20 goal range because he is, you know, you're going to find Patrick Hornquist, he's heading to the net and he's heading to the front and then that blue paint and he'll, he'll battle for those loose pucks. So um, there's no frills with, with Patrick. You get, you, you know, you get, you know what you're getting every night. Nice to have that guy though, that it seems like year to year now you can finally count on for that kind of production. Yeah, I mean, Patrick, you know, is, is a guy that he, he He's not getting away from his foundation. His foundation is that around the net, you know, type of game. And he, you know, he hasn't gone from, you know, a, a player who's who's made, you know, started out and, and, and made the leap by going there and, and having success and then changing his game and, you know, being a high flyer or a perimeter player. He's just recognized what makes him successful and keeps his foundation very, very stable over a year in and year out. And then he. You know, as he as he goes along, he's at it. He's, he's tweaking it and, and getting better and better in other areas. So, um, yeah, it, it's good for him to you know to get 20 goals. That's a it's good. That's a tough to do these now in this league. The decision to play Ellis tonight and thoughts on pairing him with Yossi? Um A little bit of thought was to get Ryan back in the in the mix a little bit. Uh, thought that uh, you know they're they're a good forechecking team. Uh, they are a team that has pretty good size, but felt that uh, you know Ryan can do some things going back and making some 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 real good exit passes, and then we're hoping we get a you know a power play or two tonight. Uh, we got a couple, but we weren't able to capitalize. I thought the first power play we had, we really you know had some really good looks for moving around, but uh, the second one we was as effective. Two twos penalty, just sort of a misunderstanding down there. Did he? Well, you know, I, I haven't talked to Toots on that. Uh, he, he left the game early, um, but you know, whatever happens, uh, you know, it's really in the league's hands. 
Uh, the referees were closer to the situation. I'm sure they'll get a call from the league, and they'll, they'll probably talk to Jordan and go from there. Silver lining that you guys weren't, didn't play your best, but you were in the game the entire time? When you lose a game, I, I can't really find a silver lining. Uh, I, I felt that we were in, in, our, in our own building here. We, we weren't as strong as we, we needed to be. We weren't as, uh, as committed as they were in some areas. Uh, and when you, you get down to these, the, the last you know, 15, 16 games of the, uh, of the season, you, you have to be committed. You have to be all in. And you know, some, some nights some things will go your way a little bit better. But uh, they're not going to go your way if you're not, you know, fully committed. And uh, we had some guys that weren't fully committed and ready to go uh, as much as they were. I wouldn't say we weren't ready to go, but I, I would say they were they were ready to jump on us and get, get moving. And you saw when we picked up the pace, when we started being invested in, into the, in our game, uh, we had some success. Um, you know, they're the two good hockey teams that, that go at it. And, uh, we've had three games with them. They've, they're all by one goal, so there's not much separation uh, between us and them. Is that but, what happens maybe with their desperate for their playoff lives? Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't know. I don't. They are desperate for the, the, the you know, to, for the playoffs because they're in that mix. We were there last year, and we have to, you know, go to like 12, three, and two in our last, you know, 17 games or something. Like that. I, I can't exactly give you the numbers, but. Just to get to where we were, you know, and um, in that desperation and that full commitment, and every game has to be there. So uh, we have a bigger commitment. We can, I know we have in our room than we, we did today, um, and that's going to be the difference. That's going to be the difference against Colorado or uh, Detroit or anybody that that, that we play now. Um, the, the commitment level is going to be really high. Both teams seem to have trouble passing. Uh, Stick to stick tonight. Yeah, well, I think uh, both teams, uh, were, 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 for the most part, they were actually checking pretty well. <coughs> when you look at it, it's 5-4. You're probably going to not so much. But both teams are, have a high degree of pressure on the puck, and therefore it gets choppy and scrambly a little bit. And, um, you know, from that part, that's part of the, the forechecking is part of your defensive game as well as your, your offensive game. And I think both teams forecheck pretty well, but you know, now the difference was was, was minor. Now it was, it was a goal, it was a mistake, it was a uh, you know a wraparound goal, a, a second chance type of thing. So we we didn't you know when, when in the end of the day you count up the number of battles you win and the number of battles you lose. Um, I say they won a few more battles than we did, and in the end that, that might be the difference. Okay, thanks.